In this video, we'll see about how to use the string operations in a web program. That is, concatenate, split, find the length of a string, replace the character, and shift. This all we'll see in this section. So, let's create some variable first, which we'll use in our program. So, how to declare a variable? Data, let's say gv underscore var1. I'm taking as character 20. If you're not giving any data element or predefined type, by default, it will be of character. And if you're not giving any length, it will be of length 1. So here I'm giving as length 20. GV underscore var2. Again, I'm taking as 20. I want GV underscore var3. Again, I'm taking 20. And what I want as GV under string of type string. String we can have any length. And let's say so first we'll see the concatenate and the split. Okay. So what I will do here, I will send some values here. GV underscore var one. Let's say SAP GV underscore where to let's say a web a b a p and in g underscore where three i want to print as programming here write g underscore where one at 21 right g underscore where two and at 41 right gv underscore var3 this is simple printing of the statement gv underscore var3 so this is current printing of the value which we are assigned that is SCP web programming let it be like this Okay, so now let's say we have a requirement. We want to show all these three variables in a single field. In real time, you might be getting title, first name, middle name, surname in a different field. And you want to print a full name in a one. So in that case, we use the uh, concept of concatenate. Okay, so how to use concatenate? Let's say. Here we have to write the keywords as concatenate and we have to mention all the field name which we want to concatenate gv underscore var1, gv underscore var2, gv underscore var3. Just separate every field with a space. Here we have to mention all the field names. Minimum two fields are required, maximum no limit. We can concatenate any number of fields. And after that we have to give into in which field we want to concatenate. So I want to concatenate into g underscore string. And if you want to add a separator inside every field, we can use as separated by generally we use a space, but we can use any other character also. And here I want to print that concatenate value W R I T. Those are very basic level syntax but very much important in real-time programming g underscore string 1 okay let me declare one more so we can see both in one string 1 so first I am separating only by a space and let's say the second one I want to separate by a hyphen okay Execute. So now we can see SAP ABAP programming. It did not print the second one. Let me check. Oh, here I have to use one. Yes. Execute. Now you can see the first one is the actual variable printed separately. In second, I have concatenated into one uh, one string, and I use a separator parameter as a space. 
you can see one space between the words and third one I have separated the string by using a separator called hyphen that is dash so in this way we can use the concatenate option now let's do the reverse of this take example we have a string like this we have a string either separated by a space or separated by a hyphen so what we can do so this is we done with the split option uh, concatenate option now let's see split a split is like splitting the string into variables so here what I will do I will clear all the variables gv underscore var1 comma gv underscore var2 comma gv underscore var3 okay so clear means if you assign this value here all will be blank here okay okay let me complete uh, comment this all just comment all this all comment everything let's say my string is gv underscore string equal to sap app programming and my string one is same but separated by a hyphen here we are doing the reverse of concatenate 7 activate check the print so it is printing the string as it is now I want to split the string so how to do that split gv underscore string at at space we have to give at which parameter the system will split the string a split gv underscore string at a space into in which field we want to split so first I want into gv underscore var1 second I want in gv underscore var2 third I want to gv underscore var3 ok the split is the opposite of concatenate save check and activate skip to that will give two blank line after the first line save and activate execute now you can see the first string I have split it into three variables it is exactly the opposite of concatenate option similarly if you want to split with a separator so here instead of is uh, space I want to split by looking at the parameter that is called hyphen you can have any parameter here as a separator okay so I want to split the second string again to same variable and we'll print the same okay you can add some blank space here skip to 7 activate execute again we can see the same result in the first time we have split, it, split the string at a space and in second we have split this string at a separator called hyphen that is dash so in this way we can use the split ok third is how to find the length of a string comment all this take an example I have variable that ok gv underscore var1 I will assign here the bank card number this the bank card number is this bank card number has 10 digit length 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in real time programming we have to also sometimes do some validation like if it is a bank card the number the length of the bank card should be 10 if it is not 10 give some message so for reading the string length there is a concept called string length so first we have to define one variable 
for reading the length that will be of type i okay now how to read the string length gv underscore length in in this we will get the length of the string equal to and type str length str length that is string length and open a bracket and inside that we have to add the variable name which value we want to read so this will read the length of this variable into this length okay and we'll write let's say length of the string is gv underscore length save check and activate just execute you can see the length of the string is 10 if I change some value here save and activate execute look at the length of the string is 8 in this way we can use the string length we done with the length of the string now let's see the replace character how to use the replace character concepts so we'll use the same concept same string 45 87 let's say l and let's say we want to replace the atppk the first one two three four five let's say we want to replace with xxxx x, x, x. there can be any requirement okay so for showing the example i will replace the one two three four five with an xxxxx x, 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 x. Okay, so how to replace? Here we have to use the keyword as replace to see the detail. Press F1. Here we can see the how the replace is used. The replace. This statement replace the characters or bytes of the variable with the character of bytes in the open new. This means that the replace first occurrence or all occurrence, replace section okay so here I want to replace AT PPK in we have to give the in operator in which we want to check we want to check in the variable gv underscore variant replace this piece of string in this width with width we want to replace so I want to replace with 5x 1 2 3 4 5 For example you have a while number and you want to show the only last three digit of mobile number okay or only the first two digit or the last two digit of the mobile number you want to show and remaining you want to hide so we use this type of concept and after that I will write gv underscore where one we will also write before a split before replace say before replace gv underscore var1 and let's say here that is after replace gv underscore var1 self check and activate executes against the original value as well as the replace value in this way we can replace the content of the string now this is i've done a complete pattern we can do in other way also Let's say here I have a here, I also have a here and a here. Okay, so what we'll do before replace as it is replace. I want to replace all the a in the string. It can be character, anything. So how to replace all the occurrence of a particular character inside a string? So replace you have to use all occurrence of replace all occurrence of a in the given variable with single x 
So what this string will do, whenever this will find A in this string, it will replace with X. Okay, execute. We can see X, T, P, P, K. Again, A is replaced by X and the number and the last one is X. So in this way, I think we can replace the complete section or we can replace all the occurrence of particular string. Okay, so let's comment this, save and activate. The last one, I will see, uh, show as the shift, how to use the shift. So we'll see how to use shift. Take same example here. Now, let's say I have one, two, three. I have three A in this string. But my requirement is I want to print only the character this. The first three letter, the A, I don't want to print. Let's say we have pan and join the pan number. Okay, let's first try with A. So here my requirement is I want to delete a leading A in the string. So we have to use shift gv underscore var1, that is the variable one. Left deleting leading what we want to delete we want to delete all the a from the string okay so this will shift the string to left side by deleting all the a from the left side execute you can see it is printed only ka 583 a generally in case of material or vendor in sap standard format the we get the value as 000, zero, zero. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So when you print the string, when you print the string, generally we don't want to print a zero. So we use this concept like deleting the leading zero. Before shift. And this will be after shift. Executes. So you can see the original value in the internal format is like this, but for printing, we want to remove the zero. So we can use the shift concept and we can remove the leading zero. Okay, so this is all about the string operations which we will be using in our web program. So in this way, we done with this session.